This segment is sponsored by VCU Massey Cancer Center. The VCU Massey Comprehensive Cancer Center is leading the way in groundbreaking research, innovative treatments, and excellent patient care. Dr. Marisa Daris, Chief of Neuro-Oncology with VCU Massey Co Comprehensive Cancer Center, joins us sharing more about the team, about the department, and innovations happening. It's great to see you this morning, Doctor. Thanks for having me. Absolutely our pleasure. Let's start with a question that certainly you are very familiar with. Let's talk about Massey's Neuro-Oncology Program. What should folks know about this? So yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a new program. I joined Massey in September of 2023 to help build the program. And it really offers patients a comprehensive model of care to support them through their diagnosis and their whole journey of brain cancer. So we offer um, clinical trials. We, we offer programs in helping support them in terms of neurocognitive and emotional support. And we are leveraging strong community partnerships as well to help improve outcomes and the quality of life of our patients. So area of focus is brain cancer and certainly you're working with the community and this is a research institute 50 years running celebrating a 50th anniversary this year let's talk about what types of brain tumors you treat and how common is a brain tumor diagnosis yeah so we treat people with a kind of a, a wide variety of diagnoses but primary brain or spinal cord tumors these include glioblastomas which is probably the most common type of brain tumor that we treat low-grade gliomas such as astrocytomas and oligos as well as tumors that originate from the lining of the of the brain uh, called meningiomas and then we also treat people with a diagnosis of cancer um, that has spread to the brain to the spinal fluid or to the spinal cord for example patients that have breast cancer or lung cancer cancer that is now involving the brain. Um, and it, in fact, these are pretty, primary brain tumors are pretty rare tumors. About 1% um, of, of people will develop one of these tumors in their lifetime. And annually in the United States, it's about 25,000 um, people a year that are diagnosed with a malignant brain tumor. So not very common. If you do include patients with brain metastases, that number would be much higher. So as you shared, not necessarily all of all that common, but should this occur in your in your realm and in people that you know, you want to seek out the treatment in that area of specialty. Why should patients with brain tumors, if a diagnosis is received, seek out a board certified neuro oncology specialist uh, rather than just a general oncologist? So brain tumor patients really need individually focused care that's developed by a multidisciplinary team. Their care is pretty complex. And the team at Massey includes a neuro-oncologist such as myself, an experienced neurosurgeon who has training really specific for taking care of patients with brain tumors, a radiation oncologist with similar training, and then other supportive staff such as a nurse practitioner, a nurse navigator, a neuropsychologist. Um, and at a comprehensive cancer center, you have access to clinical trials and novel therapies that could have the potential of extending or improving quality of life um, at at our, within our program, we also perform next generation sequencing, which is essentially genetic testing to understand how a tumor might respond uh, to treatment and identify best treatments um, options for our patients, essentially. And then we also have, have um, programs that focus specifically on neurocognitive rehabilitation and quality of life. So the, having that multidisciplinary model is really important. Massey Comprehensive Cancer Center celebrating 50 years this year. Let's talk about the innovations in the field of neuro-oncology that you are most excited about? Yeah, so there's a significant amount of research actually happening within the field um, to try and improve outcomes. There are clinical trials looking at targeted therapies um, and genetic drivers of these tumors. There are clinical trials looking at immunomodulatory therapies. So these are therapies that um, will use a person's immune system, such as CAR T cell therapies, um, or using viruses that are targeted and injected directly within the tumor to attack the tumor. Um, and, and there are other therapies that are looking at disruption of the blood-brain barrier. So the, the brain is protected by the blood-brain barrier, and not all of our therapies can actually get to the area of the tumor. And so there are techniques such as focused ultrasound that help improve penetration of drugs. And so we're, we're involved in, in many of those clinical trials here at Mass. 
It is absolutely astounding and fascinating. And we're out of time, but I do want to ask you, in tandem with the treatments uh, that are offered, certainly with Massey Comprehensive Cancer Center, let's talk about the resource of neuropsychology in this program. It really does fall into that comprehensive approach. Yeah, so patients with brain tumors really suffer cognitive language and behavioral changes as well, as well as emotional distress. So we at the Massey Cancer Center have a really unique neuropsychology program in the Live, Live Now Lab. These are led by Dr. Ashley Logan with the support of Sarah Braun, and they work to identify and improve areas of functioning that have been really negatively impacted by the presence of a brain tumor. Um, they have clinical trials in those areas, and these interventions can really be invaluable in improving a patient's quality of life and then ultimately impacting those of the caregivers as well. Dr. Doris, thank you so much for sharing your insight, your time, and contributing in the way that you do. We appreciate you so much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We're going to share some information. VCU's Massey Comprehensive Cancer Center. You'll find it located at 401 College Street right here in Richmond. For more information, call 877-4-MASSEY or visit the website masseycancercenter.org. You can connect on social media as well. And stay with us. Virginia This Morning returns after a quick break.